Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the unboxing and some initial impressions of Moto M. Let's start with the unboxing. We get a USB Type-C cable. Next we get in-ear style earphones. A normal 10 watts power adapter. SIM card ejector pin, some documentations and finally a plastic case and a screen guard. It's a nice finishing touch, just like a cherry on the top. I wish everyone does that for every phone. These are all the contents of the box. This is the first all metal phone from Moto and probably the best phone in terms of design among all the current generation of Moto phones. We have a complete metal build with curved back, chamfered edges and the 2.5D curved glass on the front. It nailed all the pointers of a premium looking device. On the top we have the earpiece along with some sensors and the 8 megapixel camera followed by the 5.5 inch full HD display and the Moto branding on the chin. As always, there are no capacitor buttons, only on-screen buttons. On the back, we have the 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture, face detection autofocus and dual tone LED flash, followed by the fingerprint scanner and the Moto logo at the bottom. Camera design is similar to all the current Moto G phones and it's slightly protruded and there's a chance of getting scratched. But once you put it in a case, it's completely covered. For some reason, this case has cutouts for antenna bands. It might be intentional or just a style statement. On the right we have the volume and power buttons made of metal. Power button has a nice texture to it to make it stand out from volume buttons. All the buttons have a very nice tactile feel to them. It's as if they are almost perfect. On the left we have the SIM card tray that can house a nano SIM slot and a hybrid SIM slot. So you can insert two nano SIM cards or a nano SIM card and an SD card up to 256 GB. On the bottom we have the dual speaker grill with a mono speaker with Dolby Atmos sound enhancement and a USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. On the top we have the microphone hole and the audio jack. Under the hood the phone sports a MediaTek Helios P15 processor. It's an octa-core processor clocked at 2.2GHz and also comes with Mali-T860 GPU. There are two variants, one with 3GB RAM and 32GB internal storage and another one with 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. Powering all this hardware is a 3000mAh non-removable battery. Currently the phone is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box and it will get the next version of Android Nougat very soon. Out of the box, it is completely plain stock Android. We don't even have the famous Moto gestures seen in Moto G4 Plus. As this phone is made by Lenovo, they added Dolby Atmos to the package and they even added some bloatware like Microsoft Office Suite and Skype which can be uninstalled. Fingerprint scanner is fast and accurate. As of now, there are no gestures. I wish we could take pictures using the stock camera app. We have all the basic sensors including gyroscope, compass, FM radio, even LED notification light on the top. We still need to test cameras but initial impressions are pretty good. Both the front and rear cameras are wide angle so that's a good thing to start with. These are some sample shots. As of now phone feels very responsive but it's practically empty. So we have to do some testing before we could tell you how good this phone is. As of now, I miss Moto gestures and turbocharging found in G4 Plus. No matter what anyone says, this phone definitely looks great and feels great. Considering heating issues on Moto G4 Plus, this is a very good alternative. But if you are considering it against Redmi Note 3, Lear 2 or even the Z2 Plus, this phone doesn't stand a chance. That's it for this video guys. We will be posting a lot of videos on Moto M, so stay tuned for that and check out these suggested videos and if you have any feedback or want us to make any specific video. Let us know by commenting below this video and subscribe to us to see more cool videos on tech. I am Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.